Hi all, this is Paula from Slice Mania and I made a new uh, planner. This time it's a personal planner. It's undated, so it doesn't matter when you're watching this, you can use it. And to set it up, you just have to add some text boxes with the information that's missing. In this case, is what year are you doing? So I'm gonna just insert text box here. And let's say this is 2022, for example. And if I wanted to make it a little bit bigger, I'm gonna move it there. So that's ready. This is for notes. If you want to add more uh, note pages, just duplicate. Do not add because it has a lot of links. So remember to always select the layout that you want to uh duplicate and right click on it and select duplicate so now you have another slide for notes and if you want to change the paper right click on it and apply layout and if you scroll down you're going to see that you have blank you have blank dot grid and line so you can just choose anything you want from there then we have some stickers that you can copy and paste on your planner. I left a blank one. If you have your own, you can just uh, paste them here so you have them handy. If you need more, again, duplicate it. And then if you have to set up the month, for example, I, I'm not checking right now when is January starting next year, but this is where you have like the images. So for example, if it starts on Tuesday, just they're dragging the images there they're like stuck on on top of each other but they're in order so you can just start dragging the numbers and put them putting them there and that's for the month you just complete it complete it all and then you have the overview here you don't have to do anything to set it up except adding text, box, text boxes when you want to add information. And then you have the week view. So for example, if I said that it was Monday, it was Tuesday, so I'm just gonna drag it here. Two, three, I'm not, like it's not looking extremely pretty, I'm sorry. There, and five, and six. So now I have to, I put like a little speech bubble here. So once you're done with the wig, just select everything, like the whole stack and cut it, Control X and go to the next week and paste it, Control U, uh, V. And we can just keep on going. So we have this ready and you have to, once you have the wig, all your week ready. Again, select everything. Control C. I'm sorry, Control X because I want to cut it. I'm going to go to the next slide. Control V to paste it. And the same for each week. So that's for the week view. And now if I want to go to February, I'm gonna to go to February and I have to do the same thing to set it up, just drag the numbers. Here is a link to the overview where you don't have to add anything but text boxes or stickers or whatever. And the same here in February to complete the weeks, just drag the numbers on top of each of the little shapes. And let's see what else. I think that's pretty much all you have to do to set it up. Okay, and what else? If you don't like the colors I chose, no problem, because again, I use theme colors for everything, even for the sticker. So go to slide, edit theme. Click on colors, choose the theme colors, and I'm using one, two, five, and this one for the text. So for example, if I wanna use these colors, I'm gonna change it for a lighter, uh, color palette. I was going to take a while, so I'm just going to go fast forward here. And 
Now, because I'm using lighter colors, the white text doesn't work very well. So I'm going to go to this here and I'm going to change it. There. So now I can close my master here. And the template is updated. I can go to the stickers. And the stickers have the new colors too. Remember just to add some um, text boxes if you want to write something. For example, here, I want to say important and I'm going to make it smaller so it fits a little bit bigger there you go and move it there there so now if I want to use the sticker I'm just gonna copy it so I always have the blank one. I'm going to go to January, for example. I'm going to paste it. There. And I'm just going to drag it here. And I can just add a text box here. Don't forget to do this. And I can do the same with all the stickers. Once you can use this template just in Google Slides or PowerPoint, but I will also include a copy of it in PDF. So because it gets a little laggy when because it has so many slides. So if you want to use it in, a, in Adobe Acrobat or in uh, Notability, GoodNotes, or even Kami, you can just get the PDF and all the links will work. The only thing though is I'm not including the stickers there because the stickers are made with shapes. So if you want just to save them as images from this deck, you can do it. But on the PDF version, you, you won't see the stickers and you won't be able to change the colors. But I'll, I'm just going to leave the link on the website just in case you want to use the PDF. So again, everything works like all the links. This one will take you back to the first slide and you can just click. You can use it in edit mode directly to navigate. If you don't click the text, click the text box. So you can just go and I can just go here and I go to overview and I can go back to the month. And if I want to go to the week, here are the hidden links. So if I want to go to this week over here, I click there and I can go back to, sorry, February. If I want to go to this week here, here is the link. So there. I hope you like it and I hope it's easy for you to customize. Bye.